Hello, and welcome to Jackie Boswell Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm your voice of the Stevenson Wings Vassal Coach Jackie Boswell. The coach, um, you were able to end the season, uh, to finish off strong, won your final two games to make yourself uh, postseason eligible. And you're in the program six straight uh, postseason bid with a uh, PCAC bid, and you were able to go and uh, go up to Drew in your first game. So talk a little bit about the end of the season and the first stop. Yeah, so, I mean, we were very excited about that. I do want to give all the credit to our players. I thought that um, – you know, they really overcame a lot of adversity throughout this entire season. So could not be more proud of them for getting the job done and trying to put as much destiny into their own hands there at the end um, with that win against Hood and, and Albright. So, you know, obviously, you know, making the MAC playoffs is, is the goal. But to be able to give that experience to go back to the ECACs, to be able to allow the seniors to be able to play a little longer is always just more important. So we're, we're, we're excited to be there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, first off, obviously you beat Hood at home, and then you got the Albright team that you know has been pretty good. And mm -hmm. Never beat them in a few years. They were going the road, and we were able to beat them. You know, to make yourself postseason eligible, so that has been good momentum. And then going into the ECA season, uh, and again, just a strong second half to be able to look at. I think it was like ten and four, ten and five over the last fifteen games. So really a strong, a strong finish compared to where you were in the other summer. Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting. Like I said, the beginning part of the season really came with a lot of adversity and, you know, a lot of behind the scenes things that I, I don't think people really quite understand. And, and um, you know, but we never gave up. I mean, even this last Friday against Cabrini, I thought that the toll of the season physically and mentally caught up with us that day. You would have hoped that it would wait just a couple more days. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it visibly caught up with us on Friday. And even with it catching up with us, I thought that we played so hard and never gave up and I, I just you know in my 19 years of coaching honestly um this might be one of the most mentally tough teams i've ever coached yeah yeah it's certainly good obviously um you know you look at obviously you lose two seniors you know, both 40 members both great members of the program and chance Herman and john yang uh, let's talk a little bit more i know we've talked about in the past with what they've meant to the program over these past four years this was a tough class i mean every year at this time it's always tough you make this relationship with these with these seniors and it is not hard to be a four-year athlete and have all the demands physically on your body and not to mention that how well they do in school um, we've been very fortunate over the years to have seniors that have done a great job in the classroom so to be able to make it through four years is, is really hard and um, i'm not sure that people really appreciate that as much unless they've been through it um, so anytime that you can get through those four years and give back to the program the way that these two have done and just give back to the school and represent the school in such a positive way, it's just really, it makes it even harder to say goodbye. So there was a very emotional day on Friday for everybody, um, but just so thankful and appreciative of everything that they've done for our program and our school. Yeah. And obviously looking ahead a little bit to next year, uh, we lose just two seniors, but we've got a, you know, quite a talented you know, junior and sophomore class. And we need one freshman, Kelly Johnson, to come back. So a lot of talent you know, coming back next year. We do. I am very excited. I want them to take a couple of weeks off and kind of decompress right now. But, um, you know, we got some work to do in the off season. but our future definitely looks um, very positive. Uh, we anticipate in bringing in a large freshman class, so we have a lot of work to do with, to catch them up with our culture. But I do, I believe that the kids that are coming back will be able to keep them up to speed on our culture really quickly. Okay, great. Uh, your coach, um, again, you know, good season. Maybe not, you know, quite what you anticipated, but obviously, like you said, very, very rewarding from a mental, you know, the team was very mentally tough and, and battle right from the end. Yes, definitely. Um, I told you again, we thank you for your time all season and um, we'll chat before we start next year. Great, thank you. All right, for Jackie Boswell, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Jackie Boswell Show.